You got. I have to say, for those who do not know, which includes everyone watching this at home, Peter here, Peter Cushing, has just literally sat, sat down. down. We've been putting back this interview as the programme went on, thinking that you weren't going to make it. But you, horrible plane problems again. I was being made up as I walked onto the set. Yes, I know. Good morning, everyone. Uh, good morning. <laughs> uh, it's morning, a most Peter. interesting journey. Would you like to hear all about it? Why not? Yeah. Well, I got up um, <laughs> at half past three. Yes. It wasn't light. Uh, I didn't shave, as you can see. <laughs> I grow hair very quickly. Uh, <laughs> in, tr in, yes. true, in true horror movie yes. style. And yes. then um, <laughs> got in the car, marvellous chap, uh, arrived at the... Uh, very frosty, very frosty the roads. And it was quite a journey. Um, he said, we won't meet much traffic, mate. No, 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 no. Of course, we, as soon as he said that, stopped <laughs> Stop. half an hour. And <laughs> arrived at the airport, Two minutes after the time he was told to be there. Would you pick Sir up to get to Heathrow by 8.10? Mm. Which we did. Well, he got there at 8.15, which isn't there. pretty good. To be told the train... The train. train. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> takes, of course, back to the touring days when it was all, you know, yeah. changing up crew. Yeah. So you put the you were lucky. Yeah. fish and actors. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> never, mind. Then, never mind. Anyway, I, I'm here. But it was here. quite quite a story. Because <laughs> the plane I got on took me to Manchester. We had a, a quarter of an hour wait at Heathrow because something had gone wrong, wrong with the engine and oh, they wanted to God. see if a spanner was left in the works. <laughs> And a little man came, now I can't find it, I've got an arm, and I was telling him, and you found it, oh, Charlie's got it, right, you can go, all that And Peter's saying in the back of it, I'm, I'm on the air in half an hour, if we can possibly take it off, it would be awfully kind. But in fact, you, you made it, and uh, he wasn't even here when we played the video. But let's talk about the were video. Were you talking Sorry, about me before I came we in? We certainly were. Because yeah, we were I rang up my dear uh, secretary, because she, you know, she hasn't seen me since yesterday, she hasn't seen me on this, she'd be fainting by now. Absolutely. So rather posh, you know. Well, they're all cut yeah, I'm on the other phone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's busy. We mentioned you were here. Listen, we were just watching. I mean, you, you didn't catch much of it, but we just played this uh, No White Peaks, this, this video. Quite extraordinary. Um, it's, based on, it's based on a poem about Vietnam, yes? It is indeed. Well, I recorded it last February, and the story is this awfully nice young man called Peter Kane uh, was entertaining the troops during the... Uh, Falklands and and the Vietnam Wars mm -hmm. and the, what was the other the Gulf War yeah. and he was so distressed by uh, what he saw mm -hmm. going on and it's not a great poem by any means but it, it's very sincere and right from the heart and they sent it to me and said would I do a um, really a sort of what they call a classical version mm -hmm. for Christmas this Christmas and it, this is what I'm saying it was done fe uh, federal I just did the sound and mm. and they could track underneath it anything and they liked wanted, yeah. and so that was that that was going coming after christmas and in the meantime a larger firm of, of uh, uh, a recording firm called Asigai uh, rang up apparently and said can we get in on the act mm. and they said yes if i would and i said well that's fine but what what, what does rat mean i mean you sort of wrap it up <laughs> and send it away and <laughs> watch on top of the box yeah. so i did yeah. 
Oh. You're scared to death. Laura, Laura laughs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, MC Hammer, you're not, who is one of the big rap artists, but you've actually, you've, you've done it. And it, does it feel strange, because I know you've seen it yourself in the, in the comfort of your own home, does it feel strange seeing yourself on a pop video? I, I must say, um, it's, uh, shall I say, different. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, it's, it's not really my scene, but having uh, heard it quite a number of times per force, I can quite see what the kids like about it. Yeah. It's that incredible sort of jungle rhythm, isn't it? And it's no wonder they're all so slim today. <laughs> and what I do think is wonderful is, is the way they dance to it. It's practically, it's almost acrobatic. You couldn't manage that, though. So you, you couldn't manage the dancing. Bet, you oh, sorry. Right. <laughs> Let me uh, look at me when I talk. Right. You, 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 you couldn't manage the dancing, Peter. Uh, only with sort of one <laughs> leg. <laughs> well, I you have, you've obviously got a strong sense of humour. Um, is, do, do you regard with humour all your classic horror roles? Over, oh, I, I think years? every actor's got to have a sense of humour, darling, to be alive, yeah. even a bit mad. It helps to be mad. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, but you cannot, the, the one thing that I think is the greatest insult to an audience, particularly I'm talking now in the theatre, of, of having a private laugh, that's dreadful. Mm. But you don't have, there's no time to have private laughs in mm. filming. It's all, it's all goal of, I mean, uh, um, as soon as you get then, is it right? Get your makeup, get your toupee nailed on, and all that. You know, and you're on the set before you know where you are. What do you think when you look back on, on all those Hammer horror, horror horror films that we we enjoyed tremendously? I mean, well, it, it, what thrills me is that um, see they were all made what 19 well, about the 50s, 50s, mm -hmm. and. Um, Lots of kids sort of stop me today and say, excuse me, but are you Peter Cushing's dad? <laughs> and I say, I don't even know, I'm his grandfather. And so they, they all think I made them sort of last week. Yeah. And it's wonderful when you think, well, I'm near, I'm 78 and I'm still yeah. to be getting in pleasure through the wonderful uh, 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 invention of yeah. video and say, I think it's wonderful. And yeah. apparently, statistics, I got through saying that word. Yes. I, I, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Thank heaven for Evo stick or whatever it is, you know. They didn't move an inch. Statistics <laughs> show that they're, they're still enormously popular. Enormously popular. I feel very guilty. We've stood it up here and we've finished. I know, because ah, we, we had such that. strong technical problems, but it's lovely it's to see you. Lovely, it's great honour to meet you. And an honour to have you. No, no, you haven't talked nearly enough. I wish we had more time with you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you very much for coming on. Pleasure, my Peter Cushing. He's wonderful. Wonderful. We're on the air till 10 past 12.